Michael Lyko here, and I went out to the woods to try and hook up my sense to some fun plants and mushrooms. <laughs> I just parked my car, but we already have some interesting plants here. We got some jewelweed, and then back in there, we got Indian cucumber. Uh, jewelweed's useful for itchy things like poison ivy or bug bite, and any cucumber has a delicious edible root. Although it's somewhat uh, rare in some areas, although there's tons of it here, so you know, definitely take caution with herbs. Going for a little hike, we're gonna find some reishi some bloodroot, some Solomon seal, and some Indian cucumber. We're gonna hook them up all to the scent. Well, I actually already did it. My favorite was probably the, uh, the Solomon seal, so you make sure you stick around to the end to check that out. But I'll talk a little bit about the plants too. We won't really get into identification. If you wanna learn ID, definitely recommend do that. So stay tuned, make sure to like, follow, subscribe, and share this video if you dig my content. And we're gonna take a listen, let's go. My uh, my scent's totally unpatched in the case, so I'm gonna have to patch it up once I find a good spot. Right, I made up to my reishi coat. Let's check out some reishi. I'm gonna find a good one to hook up to the scent. We get a patch going, and then we'll do some other plants on the way back down. Here's the first reishi tree. Oh, they're so nice and big. I don't need to harvest any because I have plenty of reishi at home. Although if I see any with a big white leading edge, I might grab that. Check out this guy. Oh, so big, got a nice leading white edge there that I might cut off just that part because you can fry it up and eat it and the mushroom will keep growing because I don't need to harvest the mushroom because I have plenty of, uh, of reishi for tinctures and stuff. This is the spot I was thinking of. There's this little reishi here. And there was just this beautiful reishi right here last time I was here, but it looks like someone someone snagged it. Uh, but that's okay. I can hook up to these guys here. Um, and it's still a really beautiful spot. This is what the rhizome looks like when you dig it up. It's not very big, um, 
but you can just clean it off a little bit and you, these can be eaten raw. Um, definitely don't take my advice on identifying stuff. Make sure you seek an expert um, because I don't want to be responsible for sending anyone misidentifying anything. But um, yeah, you just clean it off. I just dropped it and mm, mm, so good. Definitely my favorite wild edible. Here is blood root. I was worried I wouldn't find any. Um, it's an interesting plant. The root is super red. It's this red juice. And um, in olden times, I think they used to use the juice to burn up corpse because it's kind of caustic and will burn the skin. Um, it's debatable. Some people say that you can use it orally. Other people say that you can't. Um, and it's supposed to have some interesting medicinal uses, but definitely one to be wary of. Um, but let's hook it up to the sunset. We'll be actually going to hook up this one because I was looking at these ones here. But this one, oh, that one's nice and big. So there's like a plant here that I'm not quite sure what, what that is.
Solomon seal right there. We'll find one of those to hook up to later. That one has a, a medicinal and edible rhizome that's not super tasty. I used to do some survival hikes, um, so I've eaten a fair deal of that roasted over a fire or boiled, and it, it's I don't really care for it.
Thank mm-hmm. you.